have. Uh, but the one big problem is not too many walls. Mm -hmm. um, I know landers can be used as a wall specifically because it has intimidate, but that's not really its best option. That's, that's, not, a, that's not its yeah, niche. That's, that's really the closest thing MP Squad has to a wall. Yep. Yeah, but, I mean, it's worked out for you. You haven't used walls too much. Um, and not you, at all. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a viable strategy. If you can just outgun everybody else, who needs a wall? Bit of hyper yeah. offense. Yeah. 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 So, um, but I mean, Verizion, excuse me, Raikou haven't really been used too much. So maybe look around for a trade for a wall. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you're eight and five. I mean, or maybe the waiver wire. He, yeah. He just picked up Victory Bell. I don't know if that. I saw that. That was interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting play. Uh, Victory Bell. You I don't really know how you yeah. use Victory Bell. You don't really see basically it. in the sun. Yeah, you don't see too much Victory Bell play unless the you're in the sun. He but does not have a sun team. Yeah, the only people I could see that could set up the sun that I know off the top of my head who can set up the sun are Arcanine and Arcanine. Um, I'm sure there's someone else on the team that could set up, but I honestly don't know. Yeah. But right. Venom, or I'm sorry, Victory Bell could really surprise a lot of people if used correctly. So yeah. Uh, Seth, who's your who's your team of the week? I drew Wieners. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this, I, I want to. I'm very excited to talk about this team because it is um, one of those bubble teams. I mean, it's on the rise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's uh, he's six and six. Um, only three points separates him from the fourth spot to his to his division leader. Which is um, the championship team, mm -hmm. which is nothing. I mean, he's in no way, you know, out of this. Um, and I mean, I played him last week. I, I we actually did it right after the podcast. I battled him, and uh, you guys got to see his team has got problems all across the board. Uh, that Zorark to me is the most interesting Pokemon on his team, just because uh, Pizza, you pointed out last week, everything that he has to to um, mask that Zorark is something that it would be it would resist and it's a you know, completely different yeah thing. exactly he wouldn't handle any other guy they on all, his team the way yeah, he handles he, he does not have to bluff with like one or two guys he can bluff with any of those guys right. and it would benefit Zorark right. and uh, I mean that Togekiss was, was a, a problem Sigilip is always a problem if you don't do something about that thing right away and it starts getting cosmic powers off you're done um and it's being trained now by Drew Adam, but a lot of this credit has to go to the first owner, Dan DeCoco. For drafting. He, oh. Yeah. Uh, Drew hasn't modified the roster that no. much. This is still mostly Dan's team. No, this is a great... Uh, if, I had, you know, if I had to pick up you know, one of those teams, I would much prefer this one over um, Kratos Kratos that Matt Black have picked up. Uh, this just seems to fit more along my lines of you know, a little bit more saw, offense yeah. here. But... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm in, I'm impressed by the team that that he has and the way he battled me. I know it was a close battle, so I I actually thought I was you know I at one point thought I was gonna lose, but yeah, it's uh I'm gonna I'm really gonna be watching that division to see. I think he can make a push. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, we got about five minutes left. Uh, Jeremy, you sure there's no song coming this week? I am never been more sure of anything in my life. All right. Uh, any final comments from you two gentlemen before we sign off? Uh, I guess we'll, it's a lot, it's pretty heavily dependent on your guys' feedback. We, I know this, this, yeah, week more, this week more than any, we have posted a lot of questions to you guys and a lot of, uh, you know, just kind of, Hey, like, what do you think about this? So I'm just, I just hope that everybody, you know, shares their opinion because it, this is not in any way, you know, like a, uh, you know some communist regime where you have to obey like what we say we we really value your your uh input so please by all means let us know what you thought of uh everything we brought up in the podcast yeah i was gonna end up here and i should have done this earlier because obviously i can't do it in my head that quick i was gonna say what our all-star teams would be if the season ended now but i'm not going to do that because i haven't tallied them up we can talk about it next week we at the will midway talk, point. We will talk about it next week at the midway point of the season. That's we, a teaser. Next week's podcast, we're going to address all of the comments that you left for us on this podcast because we expect you to, uh, you know, address them on this podcast. Please. And, and, if, and if people have watched the podcast and the whole way through and, and can actually help us, what, what can we give them? Some incentive. All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal I'm going to make with you right now, Cameron. If. 
we get some constructive and beneficial comments from you guys this week, I promise, I cross my heart, hope to die, I will have a song for you next week. Written and it's performed. It's a big promise. It's not going to be a complex song, but it'll sure as hell be a fun song. So if you give us some constructive, helpful comments, help us to help you, the song will be coming next week. Promise. And on that bombshell... <laughs> yeah, folks, I, don't, I don't know how much more motivation you need. Uh, good luck this week with the second interleague week. Uh, the red. Halfway point of the season at the end of this week. Trade deadline at the end of this week. Jirachi is available. Jirachi is available. Uh, it's a big week. Um, I can yell at him for Depending sure. on the feedback, uh, he, didn't the fi- he didn't spend five minutes on it. Uh, depending on the feedback, we might post a question, uh, like a poll on Facebook uh, about canceling after week six. If we have to resort to a poll, and if you guys haven't given us enough you know, help, forget your song. Um, <laughs> next week, we will do the mid, mid-season mid awards. Uh, we'll go over the playoff structure and uh, the current playoff picture. Um, we want to thank our great guest, Matt Blacka, again, for being here for a few minutes out of his busy day uh, of eating. Um, so, busy day. once again, uh, for Jeremy Temple and Seth Graham, I'm Mike Neely. <coughs> Good luck on the battlefield. Yeah. <coughs> I got you.